subscripting in R can be rather tricky and the syntax may seem a bit uh, arbitrary. But I think, uh, or I find it much easier to get it right if you understand what uh, R really does when you uh, subscript, for example, vectors. And to demonstrate, I'll prepare a small data set here, T, with three um, columns, ID, H, and sex, and three observations or rows. And uh, here we, sub we use the subscript of the age column in order to get the mean age of the women. We type mean, and we want, want mean of the ages. But not all ages, but the ages where the sex is equal to female. And what happens when R tries to decipher this piece of code is that you have mean, of course, uh, which is the command you want to perform, and you have the data, which is a vector of length 3, a column from data set D, data frame, and out of this subset, you want to uh, get just two individuals, actually the ones who have a female sex. And in order to find out which uh, individuals this would be, you have the column d dollar sex, also a vector of length three containing m f f, and then using this uh, condition command equal equal sign, you want to compare it to something. And what you want to compare it with is an f. That's a vector of length one. But you can't compare a vector of length three to one of length one, but or you can. But what R does is that it recycles this f three times. So that each element in this vector is compared to an element in, or in this vector. And when comparing m to f, that's not the same, you get a false. f and f are the same, true, ff gives true. So this part of the code returns a vector of length 3, a logical vector containing false, true, true, pointing out where the females are in this data set. And next, R takes this vector of length 3 and combines it because of these brackets, with this logical vector. And it keeps only the numbers that are matched by true in this vector. So 50 is dropped because it's matched by false, while 40 and 36 are kept because these positions have a true in the index vector. So this part of the code then returns a vector of length 2 containing the elements 40 and 36, which are the ages of the two individuals that are of female sex. And lastly, R takes the command mean and applies it to this vector of length 2, 40 and 36, and returns 38, which is the mean of these two. If you got this, you can stop now, but uh, I'll uh, show the same example otherwise in the console as well. Okay, um, so first of all we create the data set here and we can check that it looks all right. We have this data frame D which looks quite like in the example I showed previously. And here we have the piece of code where we want the mean age of the women. And as you can see, we have here d dollar age. If I run just that part of the code, I get the, the ages 50, 40, 36. And then we have this part, d dollar sex, which is a factor, turns out, um, containing mff, two levels. And then we have this part, which is obviously just what it is, a vector of length 1 containing female. And when we run this part of the code, we compare d$6 to f. 
as you can see, we get a logical vector containing false, true, true. And um, this vector is then matched to the age. And when you run this part of the code, we get 40 and 36, because 40 and 36 are the second and third element in the age column. And this logical vector tells us that number two and number three are the ones we are interested in. And finally, when we perform the full line here, we calculate the mean value of these two ages and we get 38.